Welcome to Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, welcome back. Insulation in. So what we have is two inch rigid foam insulation, foil backed on both sides. We had to obviously make a trip for it. And we also have some one inch right here hidden in the back. Uh, the one inch is actually gonna be for the rafters. We'll get to that at a, well, much later date. Uh, but right now, my thought process as it stands Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. <clears throat> Sorry, I swallowed something I shouldn't have. Uh, today, uh, well, this mess that we have in here, we're going to be working on. I shot some video previously and I'll show it, uh, but I ran into a slight issue when I was doing the uh, insulation. I used Gorilla Glue, which apparently is good for hair, but not for these boards. So this board is pretty much floating in here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I found out that the glue that I was using, it does not work below a certain temperature. Well, when it was 50 in the building, I guess it didn't stick. So today, uh, we have an odd day. It's uh, February something, mid-February. We have one day, it's gonna be 65 degrees today. So what we're gonna to try to do is get all the one inch, one inch insulation up, and then we'll have at least some insulation in the overhead, which should hopefully cut down on some of the cold. We're also gonna fill in some of the cracks up above. Uh, don't know how it's gonna go. Sorry. Don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, we've, uh, well, I've researched YouTube and I can't find much of anything on uh, doing rigid foam insulation in metal buildings. So I guess I have to learn and hopefully you learn something from it as well. Uh, I was expecting this to be probably a little bit further out because when I started researching and found that the insulate or the adhesive I was using didn't work, which by the way, Gorilla Glue does not say what temperature you're good to. So what I am going to be using is DAP Weldwood Contact Cement. Uh, the reason I'm using this is according to the label, it'll work down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which, mm, down here, up here, maybe over here, there, somewhere. I'll have the Celsius for 60 degrees. Well, given today is 65 out, even though it's windy, that should give us a little bit of, um, well, roof's gonna be warmer. I'm sure when I go up on the ladder, I'm gonna be sweating like a stuck pig at a barbecue. So let me go ahead and uh, get some set up here and get, well, Unfortunately, <laughs> I buried the ladder. So we'll go ahead and get that one panel put back up with the proper adhesive. And then we'll uh, go ahead and start working on the roof and try to unblock the, um, unblock the ladder while we're at it.
welcome back. I got some work done. Uh, if you see over my head there, you can see where I stopped. I'll try to get you a better view of the full thing here. Kind of facing at the lights. There will be a little gap there. We'll have to fill in. But most of that side is done. Um, one thing I found doing it this way, the <clears throat> stickum does not necessarily work that well, uh, at least on the vertical, the, or I should say on the roof panels. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue working on this because it appears that it works pretty good if I don't stick it and just slide it in behind the uh, beams. Um, what that's going to entail in the future though, I'm going to have to put some uh, supports in there for the two inch foam that I'm going to put over this. So the idea right now is we're putting one inch foam behind the main girders. And then I'm going to put two inch foam running this way between the girders, which will give me double layer insulation up there. I tried doing the spray foam and stick them and it's just not working out well. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to go ahead and um, put the two inch foam in and what I'm probably, sorry, what I'm probably going to have to do for the two inch foam is actually resupport it. So the idea I have right now is run one by whatever's across the uh, roof to basically need my screen back one bys then slide the two inch behind it and put another one down lower to help support that sheet um, should in theory work i don't know how many i'm going to need um, but i'll do the math and we'll figure it out so I'm going to stop here for the day. It's starting to cool off a little and I got to make dinner. Uh, I think we're doing bear chops tonight. I think I'm going to try some sage bear chops. Sounds good, don't it? So we'll see you in, well, for me, it'll be the next day. For you, it'll be in the next minute. Bye. Welcome back. Uh, new day. It's actually not that cool in here today, which is surprising. I almost have to uh, shed the uh, fleece. Uh, but yesterday when I was cutting, I had an idea um, to help save time. Uh, I didn't do anything with it because I didn't want to waste the time since I knew I had to go today and uh, do something out in town. So while I was out having a uh, medical appointment, I went ahead and uh, picked up my table saw for my sisters. So this is the theory I have. It's kind of, okay. So the theory I have is I already have this distance set. Let's see if you're on frame here. I already have this distance set. So now I just need to run the panels through and whatever's left over, I can throw in the discard pile for now. So this should allow me to cut them a lot quicker than measuring, marking, 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 straight edge saw then do it all over again. This way I should be able to just zip right through them and bust everything out as, well, not as quick as possible, but a lot quicker than I was doing. So let me go ahead. I need to cut two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five. I need five more panels to finish up that section of roof. So let me go ahead and cut five more panels.
do believe that was a lot easier. And I know it was a lot quicker. So, good tip. Got a kind of insulation. Table saw works well. Oh, just like the circular saw I used, I put the blade on backwards. So, the, if you look, the teeth are spinning this way but I've got it put on the other way so that when it's spinning, spinning it's cutting through, not grabbing, because it will uh, tear it up if you turn it the other way. But doing it this way, nice, clean, smooth edge. Still a good bit of fluff, but yeah, it's to be expected. The battery died and I was uh, hot and heavy into it. So I've got all the main panels up. I just got that one strip right there that I got to fill in. It's about eight inches. And I've started, uh, if you look here, you can see how that's separated in three different spots. So using what I had left for foam, I went ahead and used the thick ones and then cut down some smaller ones to fit in between. And what I did, because this one over here is only supported by one beam. See, right here. Nope. Here. This beam here 
supports only the center of these all these panels. So I went through let me get behind the camera. Yeah, right there. You can see that seam. But I I got some of this tape here. It's a foil tape. So I'm going to go through all the seams. I'm going to uh, tape up so that uh, it helps support the panels, basically sticks them back together where I cut them in half. And this stuff's much thicker than the foil that's on the back. Uh, some of the bigger gaps, some of the bigger gaps, I'm probably going to hit it with a little bit of spray foam. Um, obviously, not that one. No. Uh, I'm going to hit some of the bigger gaps with spray foam to fill in those gaps. And then it'll be, well, probably a better part of a day just going through here and foil taping everything so that I can get ready to start working on those. Some of these are going on the walls. Others are going on the roof. Um, yeah, before I start hanging those up though, I'm probably, yeah, I don't know. I gotta I got look at it a little closer and figure out how I'm gonna stick them to the walls. I might end up doing the roof first just because the way this is going and the way that stick them that I had doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna end up resupporting them. So I'm gonna have to cut some wood strips to help hold the, uh, hold the foam up but anyhow out of 34 sheets of one inch foam that's basically all that I have left right now um, I got those two there too but for the most part things have been going along pretty good uh, lessons learned uh, a circular saw is much better than a knife. A table saw, albeit messy, is better than a uh, circular saw or skill saw. I'm used to skill saw, but I know that's a brand. I don't have a skill saw. I have a uh, framing saw, I guess. Whatever. You know what I mean. But Cutting this rigid foam is much easier using a table saw. It allowed me to cut quick and accurate cuts. I was able to blast through everything pretty quickly. So when it comes time to do the two inch that you're sitting on right now, I'll be using that. I'm probably gonna go ahead with one more day of filming before I uh, publish this. It's gonna be a big video, but there's a lot of work that has gone on in here. As well as I gotta take down some of those streamers. <laughs> but it's coming together, so that's all I can ask for. Uh, let's see what else is there. Hmm. Not really sure. So at this point, I'll see you. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. You'll see me in a second. <laughs> Bye. All right. Well, as you may be able to tell, it's raining out. So, thankfully, we got this lovely place to work in. We're going to go ahead, I stopped by earlier, picked up 10 rolls of uh, foil tape. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to do the roof, but I know that's what we have. So that's what we're gonna use. But we're gonna start by finishing up the little stretch here in the roof. Or about here. I can't tell on that little screen if I'm pointing at the right spot or not. We're going to go ahead and finish up those little gaps there and then start taping off the roof. So, again, follow along.
All right, you get the gist of it. With it raining and whatnot, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off and I'm going to continue doing what you see me doing, which is, well, I'll finish that side up, but I'll do that after I finish taping all this side. That way I have a rough idea of how many rolls I'm going to need. I think I have nine left, ten left. So we'll see how many rolls it takes to do this one entire side. And then I'll know how many more rolls I need to do that side. So I'll be back once I get done taping. Taping the insulation, not taping what I'm doing. Hope you understood that. Well, I just finished up with the uh, last of the tape. I've got up to, that one is complete. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more panels to go. I estimate it's going to take uh, three more rolls, maybe two, but I'll go three because I also, right here, right here, got a little bit more I got to finish up on that one. Uh, the reason that one's not finished up is because, well, I can't get to it. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this video up here. Uh, the next video will be the final for the uh, for that tape, and I'll be starting the rest of the insulation. Um, so I guess we'll see you on the next video. Uh, again, like, share, and subscribe, please. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. What I did was drop the camera almost. <laughs> Sorry. Throw you on the ground. <laughs>